hi guys welcome back again and something that definitely I need to share with you that is regarding to what you call starting your contract starting your employment or coming into the country and when it comes to issues of what you call the salary or definitely some of you will agree with me. most of you have come into this country for the first time then maybe you are recruited by what you call a company or even you're recruited by freelancers yes let me first talk about those people that are being recruited by what you call companies yes the day you report in that company the day you sign a contract with that company that is the start date of your work with that company yes most of you have worked in those companies and the companies are telling you we cannot give you salary no that is according to the law it's not right the day you step into that, that company, the day you sign a contract to that company, that will be the start date of, of your work with that company and you are entitled to payment. Let's say for example this company does not have what you call contracts in any way. It does not have contracts, then you are seated, you are looking for, they're looking for contracts. That is not part of your business in that way because it is the employer. As according to the law, the employer is supposed to pay your salary. It's supposed to be either on agreed basis that he may either pay you what you call the basic, which is 1,000, but still he has to pay you half of that. Yes, most of most employers have taken it in that true and they're like, they, we are not going to pay you anything. Uh, most of you will agree with me, we are there in those companies and you are seated for three months and you're not even given salary, you're not compensated. But according to the law, when you look at uh, the, 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 uh, the law itself, you are supposed to be because, because you're already in the company. So not having the contracts, then contrary, that becomes, uh, that becomes the other side of the company for it to read contracts to make sure that you work or to make sure that your labor is employed because for you you are available and ready for work but they don't have contracts so probably they have to see how definitely they can go off and try to do this or to go and see how definitely they can try to look for uh, work and give you or deploy you but you are entitled to what you call your food allowance you are also entitled to what you call your salary at the start month of the day so remember the day you stop in that company or the day you sign and you enter the country you go to that office you sign the first partial contract with that company that is going to be start what you call the start date of your work with that company. Hope I've tried to share something for you. And definitely you should know your right and this is a part of your rights. Most of you, you've been in these companies or most of you in those companies and you're not being paid salary, you are not paid salary. Like the company say we don't have job, so you'll have to stay, uh, you have to be in the company accommodation. Yes, you may be lucky you're in a company, but in that agreement, the company needs to call you, address you, and let you know of what can be a situation that is happening, and agree with you. For the first phase, maybe they'll give you half, or they'll give you food allowance, or they'll give you partially for eight hours, which are not worked until they look for contracts. Then, something later, uh, else I need to share with those people that come on a freelancer visa. Yes, normally when you come to the freelancer visa, definitely you definitely know you have to come with enough money to take care of yourself. And this is definitely, you need to understand that you come with enough money for you to take care of yourself because the, your sponsor or your agent is not going to provide for you food at that case. Yes, if you may be lucky and it's going to give you food and those that are available that will give you food. Yes, those that are not being able to meet up with those climate, they are not good food. So, Definitely make sure as you move, you move with enough money or move with part of enough money that's going to make you survive with you in that kind of period. That if most of you have been in these, uh, these companies or you've come with these free agents, they put in somewhere, they've run away from you, you don't have rent, you don't have food. So definitely let us write sometimes to kind of prepare for that kind of catastrophe days that maybe come to us uh, which are not called for in that kind of case so hope i've tried to share something for you and most of you you definitely will agree with me that you need to understand this uh, kind of part of this that when you come to job searching the most of these countries especially when you want to start and you're penetrating what you call your career hope i've tried to share something for you thank you so much see you again in the next video